Cross 17 just gone. They had to lay the wire first. What about the relief groups? What about uh, what about the Red Cross and FEMA and, and those guys? Who are you with? Whoever, man. You got any food? What? I'm gonna take these, man. You can keep the rest. No, don't you do this to me. Look at this. Look at my situation, man. Look at the baby here. Don't you go and start taking my food. This, I need help. It's not my problem. Just go get me some help. Ain't nobody out here gonna help you, man. I'm being real nice, let you keep all the coats. Look, fine. I just need help. I'm gonna give you my watch. Okay, take this. I want you to take my watch. I'm gonna give you some money. Look, what am I gonna do with a watch, man? I'm desperate, okay? That's what I am. I'm desperate here, okay? So I'm pleading with you. Just... Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. The blunders unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, we am learning this truth. Shalom to the awful elect. So, you know, I'm going to go on the plantation in a minute, you know. So, but I said I wanted to do a lesson before I go, man, you know. And, you know, we are in the time leading up, you know, to time of Jacob's trouble, a time of great peril, a time of, you know, um, you know, a time of just great, you know, tribulation, man. You know, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the Israelites, are going to go through Jacob's trouble, man. You know, and um, obviously the elect are going to be, you know, protected in that time. You know, a time of famine, a time of great danger. And you know, watching this, um, as you can read in the in the caption, here, it says uh, a movie Paul Walker was in titled "Hours." based on Hurricane Katrina, showing how people act in time of peril and famine. This is a small glimpse of how it is going to be during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You know, and um, let me get uh, Jeremiah 30 verse 7, just to start it off. You know, there's more um, in the video that I want to play, but, you know, I stopped it to, just to get a main, you know, a main point across, right? Um... Uh, Jeremiah 30 verse 7 says alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it right so the elect are going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble man you know but guess what the, the, when there's time of famine right, all hell is going to break loose you can see this individual you know went into you know um, you know this man's house you know played by Paul Walker Right, went into Paul Walker's house and took his food. And guess what? It's gonna be a lot worse in Jacob's trouble, man. People are gonna be breaking into people's houses and taking people's food, man. You know? Um and what did he do? Is he he offered up watches, right? He offered up watch and money to the individual and the individual didn't take it. You know, the man said, What am I gonna do with this man? You know? Cause he knows that, you know, the the the, the wealth and money and and watches in in, in during that time, obviously during the Hurricane Katrina and um, being depicted in this movie, he weren't going to help him to do nothing, man. He wanted food. And in Jacob's trouble, is going to be a way more worse than that, man. You know, all your money and all your fame, sorry, all your money, all your wealth, you know, won't help you in that time, man, when you're starving, man. You know, your Range Rover ain't going to help you when you're starving, man. You know, ain't going to help you when you're dying of hunger, man. You're, you know, desperately in need of something. You know, to um, to eat when they're desperately in need of something. You know, to to to, to eat, man. You know, and and that's the time where we're coming up to, man. Right. This is um Proverbs eleven verses four. Just to make that point, riches profit n not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. You know. So guess what? Riches profit nothing in in the day of wrath. In Jacob's trouble, right when famine. You know, mashallah, you know, when all hell are breaking loose upon the earth, the riches ain't gonna be able to help you, man. He said, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness, you see? You know, so guess what? You, you know, put all your trust in all your riches and you will know. Guess what? You, can be a, you could be a billionaire now, but in the time of famine, in the time of, 
you know um you know when the economy crash and martial law you know and martial law troops are about and you know there's you know great tribulation race wars riots you know all hell breaking loose man your riches ain't gonna be able to help you and we can see in this small clip of a small glimpse of how he could be, man. See, the man offer up him, him, him watch and him, and him money. And man said, what am I going to do with this? You know, I did a video um the other day, you know, on, on a similar thing, right? When a man find money and his friend basically said, you can use that as toilet paper, man. You don't work nothing, you know? And that's it's gonna, that's what's going to be in Jacob's trouble, man. And we are not far away from it, man. You will see, I've seen videos of... um. Country, you know, US is like a universal currency that most most countries in the world use. And I've seen people, you know, in different countries burning it, man, because the US is devaluing, man. The value of the US dollar is going out to nothing. And soon the whole economy are going to crash so they can bring in the new world order, so they can bring in the MOTB. And that's going to be the new form of currency, you know, the new form of payment. Okay? Revelation 13, verse 16, you can read that. Okay, let me continue the clip. Ranger, for my situation, man, I just, I just want you to go out there and just, and just tell somebody about me. Tell them what's going on. That's free. That doesn't cost you anything. So just call me other people out there now. You don't want them to know about you. A lot worse than me. Folks waiting on these pharmacies. Can't go 10 minutes without hearing another gunshot. Now you stay real quiet here. Yeah, but listen, but listen, I don't know what somebody else is doing. Come on, sit down, man. Easy. Call off your dog, man. Easy. Call off your dog. Little Sherlock dog. Relax. See? People them are bugging out, man. People them are bugging out. Yes, that's what's going to happen, man. When all hell breaking loose, people are going to be bugging out, fighting for food, man. People are going to be fighting for food. In time of famine, people are going to be fighting, you know, race, race war, riots, you know, people killing off each other, martial law troops, dragging people out of their houses. This is just a small little thing I'm talking about and what's going to happen in Jacob Chubba, man. And it's not far away. You know, that's why, I guess what? Only the elect are going to be protected and saved in that time, man. You know, the two, the two thirds and, you know, you know, the wicked of all people are going to, are going to be bugging out, man. Are going to get caught up in, in all of it, man. You see, this is how people are going to act in that time, man. I'm going to get to um, second Ezra 15, starting from verse 19. And he said, I start from verse 18. And he said, for because... Of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's going to happen, man. People are going to be scared in that time, man. The cities are going to be troubled. There's going to be so much disaster going on. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, you see? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. We clearly see that in the video. The man, you know, um, Paul Walker in the movie said he had, he had his baby there. And the man did the care. The man take the man food. You know, and then next thing you know, the man dog have to come and bite and bite the man, and then you have to chase down the man. These are the things, and this is a small glimpse of what's gonna happen, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That is the time we're coming into. We can see a small glimpse of it in this video. You know, that's the time we're coming into, man. You know, um, me get some more precept and then close. You know, after get ready for the plantation, so I'm gonna get Psalms 33 verses 18 and 19. You know, and I've been doing a lot of lessons on this particular topic recently. You know, because guess what? <laughs> These things are going are going to happen real soon, man. You know, so guess what? We have to, you know, prepare the, you know, basically um, teach the word for the elect. You know, so the elect can 
can hear and know, man. So the elect can um, basically repent because the elect are going to repent. But the two thirds of our people, you know, the wicked of our people are going to stay in their wickedness and then get caught up in all of it. And then they're going to be trying to seek out Bashi Maushai, which is going to be too late. Psalms 33 verses 18 Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. That is the elect. The elect are going to pray and hope Yahabashi Maushai. Have mercy upon them and protect them in the time of Jacob's trouble, in the time of famine, you know, in the time of great tribulation and great death. Okay? But the wicked are going to be killing off each other, fighting off each other for food. You know, and for other things that they, they need to survive, man. You know. But the Yahweh Mosha is going to feed the elect, is going to take care of the elect. Right? Verses 19. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. You see? Yahweh Shimosha is going to keep the elect alive in famine, those that worship him, those that serve him. Verses 20, our soul waited for the Lord, he is our help and our shield. So Yahweh Shimosha is going to protect the, the, the elect in Jacob's trouble, protect the elect in the time of famine and great danger, man. You know? Yahweh Shimosha is going to protect, you know, his men. Okay? Um, Sirach 39. Um, verses 28. Yeah, this is Sirach 39, verses 28. Um, those be the spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death and all those were created for vengeance. You know, Yahweh Shimeoshai is creating Jacob's trouble for vengeance, man, for punish. Jacob, man, the children of Israel, man, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction, you see? So they're going to be wild beasts as well, man, you know? Tearing um, 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 tearing up um, people limb by limb. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress the word. That's the elect, man, you know? You know? That's the elect, man. But it's the, 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 the wicked are going to get destroyed, destroyed, man. You know? That's the time that we're ahead. That's coming. So people want to live comfortable, you know, and, and, and things. All, all, all is good. I want to, you know, um, um, you know, ignore the word of the, the, the Lord to his men. You know, guess what? When push comes to shove and things start happening, you know, don't ball and beg. Just take it, man. You know? Um, this is... um. Sirach 40 verses um, 9. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities and famine and tribulation and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood. So the wicked, you know, are going to be caught up in all of these things, man. But, the, you know, the, the, the elect, the ones that are serving the Lord, are going to, you know, be protected and fed and clothed in that time, man. In the time of great danger, famine and death and destruction. You know, that's the time that's coming, man. You know. It's not far away. We see it slowly happening, slowly, slowly happening. It's going to soon start increased on a level where you know people are going to be bugging out, wondering what's going on. I'm going to get um second Ezra sixteen, um last precept, and then I'm going to you know get ready to go on the plantation. This is second Ezra sixteen verses eighteen. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as causes for amendment you see you see so these were sent you know for punishment man you know to punish the wicked but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges you see so when the prophets are teaching all of these things are going to come you know the people them are still in their wickedness they're not turning away you know, from us, what's going on, man? You know, behold, victory shall be so good cheap on the earth they, that they shall think themselves in good case, to be in good case, and even then shall evils go upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So just because everything not, not going on as bad, people think that it's all good, you know? They think that everything good, but then guess what? You know, Jacob trouble slowly creeping on, on the world, and, you know, the, 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 the wicked end, you know, Looking out for it, man. Only the elect is. 
for many of them shall dwell upon many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy you see so many of you know of um jacob many of the jakes out there the wicked jakes are going to perish from famine and those that don't perish from famine you know shall die in world war three you know in the missiles man and the dead shall be cast out as dung which is basically doo doo shit and the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them for the sword shall for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down you see that's the time that's coming man and it's in the bible man you know so you know we have to just you know pray and hope if we are of the elect you know and pray how about shall have mercy upon us man you know we need his mercy man because in that time we can't we can't save ourselves man you know the, the time the things that are coming only how about shy can protect us from it man you know so we just pray and hope that we endure to the end man you know i pray and hope and i that i endure to the end you know and sometimes you know i find myself you know like you know a bit down or uh, you know some days you know, i see i realize that oh i ain't been doing you know enough videos or praying enough and then i have to say to myself you know come on man fix up you know because guess what we, we, we pray and hope yeah how about you i don't take that spirit away from us man you know hope that we keep going we keep you know i you know i need to pray more you know every day you know sometimes i think to myself like oh when was the last time I prayed? Oh, I need to pray more. Oh, I need to read more. I need to study more. I need to watch more videos. I need to, you know, do more videos. I need to, you know, try my best to do the will of Yahweh Bashi now, Shai, man. Because guess what? You know, we, this is not the time to be slacking, man. We, we need to stay very strong. And we have to pray and hope Yahweh Bashi now, Shai, put that spirit upon us to endure. You know, so with that, I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh Bashi now, Shai. Until next time, Shalom.